Boo 7. It seems today we have a massive IT outage globally. This is affecting airlines that have grounded flights. This has affected hospitals in New York, California, and banks across the board. They also mentioned there's other disruptions, but don't name exactly what they are. It looks like this is all going back to this CrowdStrike outage, which is part of Microsoft. CrowdStrike is a security apparatus, an American cybersecurity technology firm that provides cloud workload protection and threat intelligence in real time uh, for all these different places. They're saying that there's an issue with the software and that a fix has been deployed. But in the meantime, people are stuck. American Airlines, United, Delta, all asking the FAA for global ground stops on all flights. So all flights stop dead in the tracks as this is ongoing. At least 540 flights in the United States have been canceled. And we're just now starting to hear the grumblings of people complaining that their banks are not working. They can't get money out of the ATMs. Now, I've been warning you about this scenario for a long time. Who's gonna get caught when this whole thing comes crashing down with their 401k not cashed out and all these other things that we've warned about? Well, this could be the last beta test warning that we get here large scale. When you have something take down the IT sector across the board in all these different places, well, it seems like a place that could be targeted again or raise some eyebrows at least to what's going on here. Again, this global IT outage has been reported in many countries across the world, Germany, other places throughout Europe, and here in the United States. So I will update as I get more information. But please note, some hospitals around the country also affected by this as well. Follow me on X for breaking updates. And make sure to come back by and check my YouTube channel regularly for updates because they're not going to see me. Much love. Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about Shimi? How was Shai? By Shimra Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone, and rule well. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. You know it's in this gospel, bro. I lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Shimi, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is a lesson through the spirit. Esau is crashing his economy. All right, they're doing these beta tests and they experiment with these cyber outages. And as what Dabu was saying, banks, airlines, other disruptions are taking place across the country. Now, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.09, to be specifically Central Standard Time. And you used to see flying, I mean, planes traveling through this area like left and right. And the crazy part about it is I stay maybe 10 minutes, if that, from the airport. And you can hear planes, you can hear flights. I hear them all day, all night, you know, because we're like over flight route. And come to notice i didn't see anything in the, in the sky earlier you know what i'm saying nor did i hear anything at night which is usually not bad but there's a, a constant volt flow of traffic when it comes to planes because i stay at least 12 i would say 12 to 15 minutes from the airport 10 if you're driving like a madman all right and also what i noticed too this morning is that when i woke up to try to clock in to work it didn't work now sometimes i do that because the system has to reboot sometimes i have to shut down my laptop and then it works, but I tried it three or four times and it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, it must be something going on or that may be an outage. Because about a month ago, we got hit with an outage and technically our VPN at our jobs is still not working. So we have to log in under the Wi-Fi under the company, but our company's VPN don't work, you know? So when we work from home, we have to hook up to our Wi-Fi because the the the, uh, the vpn it is it isn't working because you know we got hacked which through the spirit i believe these things are deliberately done okay this is esau testing the water because they know that the average american relies on their technology their banking the, you know their debit cards their credit cards and it's gonna come a time that you're not gonna have these things readily accessible you see we got the selection in november what is it it's, it's july so august september october 
November. That's roughly four months and some change away. So they have to do what they got to do to destabilize the society. So therefore, this election can be rather chaotic one. Because just for my personal opinion, and, you know, it could go which way. I mean, Trump could get in there, which I mean, if Trump, if, if it's a fair debate, he's going to win hands down. Like, hand over fence, he will win this election. Okay? He will do it. Which is everything is all set up for that. Because the elites want to bring in chaos and they need to figure out a way to destabilize the economy and the society. So if they put Trump in there, it may be some type of a attempt on his life and they may actually succeed in which it may be a body double. It may not even actually be him. Because, I mean, be honest with you, Trump ain't really ruffling the elites feathers. He's not really ruffling anybody. He's not going off script or going off protocol. He's just saying what the average American want to hear. You know what I'm saying? And that's not rather a threat. Okay? So... Long story short, if they attempt another attempt on this guy and they actually succeed, quote unquote, but it's a body double and it's not him, then people are going to lose their mind like this. I guarantee you, you may see purge like events come selection night or after. OK, or they may just do something to suspend the election altogether because of some type of emergency declaration. You see, now I'm looking in the sky. Now there's one plane. I see, but that's probably coming from the private airport because you also have a private airport that people with private planes, they dock out of it. But that's not a uh, what they call an international flight. You know, that's probably somebody just flying around the city or flying to one of their little uh, ranches, probably 30, 40 minutes outside the city. And that'd be that, you know, but we in a time now that anything is possible. So, you know, we got to stay right and get right and continue to stay right with your how about you, how was shy. Because, you know, the most high, he's making moves out here. All right. So it says here, a wave of IT outages swept across the globe Friday morning, sending airports, airplanes, banks and other institutions into screeching halt as some Microsoft based computers cease to work. And I noticed we have Windows computer, which is Microsoft based. So um, there you go. So that makes sense as to why it didn't work, because we operate on a network. That's the systems that our, um, our company use. So it makes sense that, you know, we couldn't clock in. But it says CrowdStrike, an American cybersecurity technology firm that provide clouds, workload protection, threat intelligence and cyber attack responsive services, said the outage which spark chaos for many was not a cyber attack. But instead, there was an issue with software and a fix had been deployed. So they say it says CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by the defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts. Max and Linux hosts are not impacted, but this is not a security incident or a cyber attack. That's what they say, okay? But according to Dabu, that's what it could have been. And I don't believe that it wasn't that. But it says the issue have been identified, isolated, and a fix have been deployed. It says we refer customers to the support portal for the latest updates and will continue to provide complete and continuous updates on our website. And also we further recommend organizations ensure they are communicating with crowd strike representatives through official channels. OK, so basically they're feeding the people bullshit. It says the American Airlines and a United and Delta acts for the FAA for global ground stop on all flights, which that put a halt to people businesses because you got people taking international flights, man. Domestic flights. Some people got to go overseas for business dealings, you know. So if you don't have a private plane, then hey, you ain't you ain't going to make your meeting. And also we understand how. The, the Babylonian people are prisoners of convenience. When you are a prisoner of convenience, then when the hell comes, you don't know how to fare with it because you're used to being catered to and having your meal delivered on a silver platter. And that's not going to be the case here in a little while because when Babylon collapses as an economy and a dollar goes down the drain, then people are going to literally go batshit crazy. And the solution to that is to bring in an MOT to the busy. OK, which that's not going to stop the chaos because people are going to buck up against that because they're going to feel that their government shouldn't be in control of what they do. OK, but it says here, at least 540 flights in the U.F. have been canceled. But early this morning, a technical issue with the vendor impacted multiple carriers, including American. And as of 5 a.m., we have been able to safely reestablish our operation. OK, and this is what they're basically telling the people. But meanwhile, flights that were in the air already were allowed to continue on, but no American United Delta flights have been taken off during an outage. Okay, so global IT outages have also been reported in many countries, 
across the world, including Berlin Airport. Wow, this is worldwide, huh? In Germany, London Stock Exchange, Google Cloud, Microsoft, and Gatwood Air, uh, Airport in the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, a source told the ABC News that some computers have been affected at the Department of Justice in an outage. And there was no indication that it was affecting law enforcement activities in the field. But the DOJ, which is Department of Justice, alerted users that they are among the business and government users worldwide affected and that the DOJ office of the chief information officer has actively been troubleshooting possible workaround with opponents and technical teams. Some hospitals around the country have also been affected by the IT outage. So there we go. So this is this is a. Uh, uh, nationwide. All right. And this is a pretty lengthy article. I'm not going to read all of it. But when the uh, grid goes down and they shut down the power, then nothing going to halt anyway. You know, then things are just going to halt. And then banks, you ain't going to be able to get your money out. People going to panic from that. You know, like uh, a big major bank went down in China yesterday, I think, you know, and people was out there going bad shit crazy. And that's crazy. Banks in China. And we know that China holds a lot of America debt. So if China ceased to exist as far as uh, with their currency wise, then shit, you better believe the dollars on his way out of here. But China have one, of, if not the world's strongest economy. So, you know, it's not really any worry in that aspect. But once they drop the American debt and those dollars begin to be pushed up back to America, then that's when you're going to see the case of hyperinflation. When a pack of lunch meat that normally go for three well it used to go for two three bucks not lunch meat good lunch meat may run you five six bucks seven if you luck seven if you ain't if you're lucky for a good brand but that same pack of lunch meat for the bare base shit gonna run your ass 75 dollars a loaf of bread a hundred dollars carton of eggs 250 carton of water 75 dollars milk eggs all that meat a thousand dollars and that's when people going to really go crazy. And this is when they're going to start looting the stores. They're going to go in. They ain't going to buy it. People just going to take it. They're going to steal it. They're going to go downtown to these government buildings. And they're going to demand an answer from these legislators, man. And they're going to start grabbing these people up and doing something to them. I'm telling you, we in those times. So, precept, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Yeah, because you have to understand the time we are in, man. You can't be walking around here. Like everything is okay just because, you know, you had a good week or, you know, you got a raise on a job and everything is okay. You know, you got the, the, the crib all decked out, you know, look, you know, you, you can't, ex you, you can't, that's not security, man. Okay. We have to be in the mindset, like the scriptures say, when those evils come, be as pilgrims on the earth. You have to be a pilgrim mentally too, because you have to be ready to let go of this shit at the instant. You know, your brand new Hellcat, you may just bolt. You may only draw that motherfucker for two weeks and then all of a sudden the economy fails and the grid goes down and you can't really move. You can't really drive the damn car nowhere. Gas stations are running out of gas. You got to leave that motherfucking car parked on the side of the road. You got to be like, oh, well, it's fun while I last it. And then you got to get on the prowl, man. You know, same thing with our apartments. When they introduce the MOT to the busy, hey, your apartment complex is going to require you to, 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 to have that chip, man. You know? And if you ain't got the chip, then shit, you, they gonna throw you out of there anyway. So you gotta be prepared to walk away from all these things, man. Like me personally, I've been in the habit of selling things that I got, which I don't have a lot, you know, but it's just some things I can do without, like extra shit in the basement, you know, in the storage. I, I get rid of a lot of that stuff, man, because I don't need it. What I'm gonna sit around for, sit around with it for, you know? Like when I moved to this current place, I mean, I've been here about two years now. I was actually looking for a bigger place you know, because it's like I had, you know, just 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 spaced out. You know, I needed some space to do some things in there. But when I look at it, I'm just like, and really because the cost, you know, what I'm paying for that, I could pay for one bedroom, two bedroom, whatever. And um, I was looking at it and I was like, well, shit, man, you know, I, I downsized a lot from my last apartment I had. I got rid of a lot of shit, you know, so I wanted to kind of keep it condensed like that. That way I didn't add too much to the plate because you don't want to have to be scrambling to get rid of that shit and then you know you got to leave it all behind anyway and these people they not in the mindset of leaving shit behind you know like i tell people any given moment i could walk away from all this shit i could walk away from everything man and we got to be in that mindset you can't be too attached to the shit you got man because it's all tainted anyway 
You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how much you love your vehicle or your apartment, the fucking car breaks down all the damn time. Who the fuck really want to deal with that? Sometimes it's more of a, of a, of a relief of letting shit go than holding on to it. Like, me personally, I really want to get an electric bike or a bike and ride that because I hopped on a bike the other day and I was just kind of, you know, on the job and we was just passing out stuff and we was on a bike called, like, how about you not shot for 144? And I was like, yeah, I could do this shit. I'd rather be on a bike anyway. <laughs> you know, at least with that, most you got to do is chain slip, oil it up, fix the chain and fucking um, change the tire, get it in into it. That's easy. I could do that shit in five minutes, man, versus a damn car. You know, thousands of dollars to get some damn brakes on a damn car, man. This shit ain't even worth it no more. It's stupid as hell, you know. But anyway, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, because these people are drunk as hell. You know, they really believe that this guy, Eagle Face Trump, is going to make America great again. And all that smack he's talking, when he gets in, hey, he may just catch a bullet to the noodle. And that's going to really set you people up. Then again, he may come in there and become a dictator shit, a dictator because the scriptures say uh, um, then you should be given over to a cruel Lord. Because Trump was talking about bringing about the death penalty. He was talking about chipping people to track those migrants. You know what I'm saying? He was also um, mentioning bringing back the guillotine, man. He's talking about uh, financing the law enforcement, reestablishing the police. So... Trump get in there, hey, he may not do what he say he do. He may just become full-fledged Nero, man. And I'm going to tell you one thing, too. Trump don't give a damn about you Israelites. He never did, never have. None of these presidents give a damn about you, man. And when Trump gets in office, you're going to see that these devils, they going to start fucking you jakes up. Because Trump going to greenlight them to fuck up you jakes if he gets reselected. If. Which is highly likely. You know, I mean, I could see him being president. Then again, I could see it being no election. But I tell you for sure, if he does get elected, I guarantee you this may be the last election that America ever see. This may very well be the last one. And I could say that shit with confidence, man. I don't see a uh, 2028 presidential election. I don't see a 28 to 2032. I don't see that. OK, I believe America is going to be taken out in a few short years, if not months. But we have to wait and see. But it says here, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. OK, and that's the spirit we ought to be in, because like I said, man, you don't want to be caught up in this in this wickedness of this world. You don't want to get too complacent and comfortable, you know, because the Lord, man, you always want to have a little fire under you to keep you on, on your A game, you know. So this is why we have little aggravates and aggravants in the spirit all the time, because the Lord wants to keep you up. Like the scriptures say, constantly be pricked therewith. Lord, got to keep a little irritant in your life to let you know where the hell you at. Like, look, man, don't get too comfortable, bro. Because honestly speaking, if you had no affliction in this place and your woman was in order and America wouldn't be a bad place. Now, since, you know, Jake is, is, is dealing and Jake is actually on an up and up, even though we're still slaves, it wouldn't have been that bad if everything went perfect for us. And this is why this shit got to be hell. She even in Egypt, Jake was living good and they were slaves, man. So how much here? Second edge of 16. And I'm going to start at verses. 39. Even so should not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And when the world shall mourn and the sorrow should come upon it on every side. But, oh, my people hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle and those evils be even as pilgrims on the earth. And you know what's so funny? You got these other camps out here. In that debating spirit, but they're not even telling you about what's going on in the world. Like this fat muffin head nigga Deacon. All right, well, what's this guy's name? Hakaga or whatever the fuck that clown's name is. He's oh, uh, we want all the smoke, nigga. That's all you do. That debating spirit is wicked as hell, man. That's all you niggas care about is a fucking debate on who y'all could try to make look foolish when y'all are getting cut up by Christians, man. Christians are destroying you niggas. Because your boy, he broke down Romans, what is, I think, Romans, the fourth chapter, totally butchered it and got confounded, man. Y'all getting ate up by these Christians, but y'all want to get mad at us because the apostle said, call the cops on vocab. Well, vocab is harassing us, man. We already dealt with the nigga. Well, we going to keep dealing with him for it and ain't going to get, he's not there to help wake the, de there's no edification out of that. And for one thing, how is he knowing where we at? That's stalking, bro. 
A lot of your followers agree with that. Get this man out of here. There ain't no good gonna come from that. He's not trying to sincerely wake up people. And we prove that we can debate. We've already destroyed them in the script. But you niggas wanna do this structured, scripted debate so you could get followers. Most high gonna destroy you niggas in that spirit, man. And Hakai, you're not a man of the Lord, okay? I don't think you are. You know, and we don't give a damn what you niggas say. At the end of the day, none of you niggas will prophesy. And guess what? Angels and chariots are popping up on the men at Great Millstone. What can you guys say that? I don't see no, no angels rolling up on Sakari or anybody like that. I don't see Haka seeing chariots and angels. And even if you do, you niggas are so much of a clout chasing, you would have publicized it, but you're not. Because you're in the wrong spirit. That's why when our hell break loose, the most I ain't going to defend you cats, man. Some fucking debate And all your followers that follow you Your common board cronies The most high is going to destroy them too Because they're too damn simple To see through the bullshit you guys are pushing out there Niggas out there damn mind man Here Esau is getting ready to come down with great wrath And you niggas are worried about cutting a Christian Grow up bro For real grow the fuck up Because we already proved that none of you are on our level with the scriptures You're not And Hakai you're not on our level bro Period and it says, he that sell it, let him be as he that flee it the way, and he that buy it as one that will lose. So yeah, the scriptures is warning us of urgency, man. We prophesy, that's what we do. We're the prophets. We ain't, we ain't set up to debate nobody. Now when the scriptures say, debate thy neighbor or contend for the faith or uh, uh, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, that's talking about in defense of the gospel or just teaching the truth, man. That don't mean go out there and try to set up a debate with the black consciousness community. If somebody comes up, then we gonna defend the gospel. Just like when anybody comes up, that's debating right there. It doesn't mean it has to be a formal or a competition or you lost the one in the debate. No, it's not talking about that, man. You know, it's not talking about that. It's just talking about teaching the word. Somebody come up with false doctrine, then we destroy it. We've destroyed vocab every time, bro. So there you go. And it says, he that occupied merchandise as he that will not profit by it, and he that build it as he that should not dwell therein. And he that soweth as he should not reap. So also he that planted the vineyard as he should not gather grapes. And that they that may marry as though they should get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore they that labor, labor in vain. And at the end of the day, all this shit is vanity, bro. All right, it's all vanity with that. So with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about Shimi? How was Shai by Shurikakwadash?